make breakfast with us for once. The early bird catches the worm, and if I'm not early, then yeah, your dream of becoming a lion is in jeopardy. Exactly. Glad you understand. Gotta go. Love you. What you've done. I'm sorry. You should be. Excuse me? Aria, let's go. Dancing? Only people with no future waste their time dancing. Hold up. You have no right to diss the art of dance. Who do you think you are? Actually, I have the right to freely express my opinion. Check the Constitution. Chapter 3, Section 22, Subsection 1. Hmm. You should have realized you were one of those. What do you mean, one of those? You're one of those brainwashed law students who do everything by the book. You talk about freedom of expression, yet you merely repeat what you've been taught rather than actually having an opinion. Um, guys? How dare you question my ability to express my own opinion? How dare you question my choice of expression through dance? Guys, you call dance an expression? It's more of a phenomenon created by Neanderthal. Guys! Well, it's more expressive than your mindless logic. Hey! What? what? We're gonna be late. Everybody thought that uh, mobster or gangsterism was finished. Miss Blair, tardiness is a vice that law has no room for. I know, sir. I promise I won't let it happen again. Promise? Anymore. You promise, huh? Okay. A promise means nothing to the court unless it's written. Therefore, I need a 25,000 word essay on timeliness and your promise not to do it again. I need it first thing in the morning. Go to your seat. Remember class, if you're not early, your dream of becoming a lawyer is in jeopardy. You're so right, you're so right. I hope somebody can. And so, as I was saying, John Teflon Dottie Jr. was convicted of 13 counts of Miles, you're late again and we missed our chance to use the dance studio. Okay, just tell me where to meet you. Meet me at the classroom above the music building at 6.30 this evening. Okay. Now, Kisia. Not now. We have less than a month before the eight takes two tournament. You come later than usual, and all you can say is not now. It's just some girl. Honestly, Maz, I couldn't care less. I don't want excuses. I want action. Let's just start, okay?
are Stephen not eating dinner? Tell mom that I have an essay to write because of this dim-witted dancer. And in title is not before entering. Breaking and entering can result in a maximum of five years. I forgot. Anya? Yes, Paul? I missed that. I know. <laughs> Me too. You know, I remember he used to take us to KFC every Friday night. He bought me an apple pie. Yes, he did. And while you were sleeping, mom and dad used to dance under the moon. Speaking of sleeping, you need to get to bed. A 10-year-old needs at least eight to nine hours of sleep. You're gonna be the bestest girl in the whole wide world. There's no such word as bestest. Bone and place it on his deck before he even reach their a paid my debt. A 25,000 word essay though. Even my chemistry teacher wouldn't do that. Well, Monique, I wouldn't have had to write that essay if it wasn't for that. That boy. You mean Miles? Miles? Miles Lashley. A friend of a friend of mine told me that his major is dance. He's one of the best in his class. <sighs> Not only does he dance, but he majors in it too. He really doesn't have a future. Dancing? What a ludicrous excuse for a career. You know I'm tired of you insulting me, my passion, and the career of other dancers. <laughs> your passion? When will you get off your high horse and realize that the world is not just about medicine and the constitution, you mindless girl? What's mindless is the way you prance around like a ballerina. Oh, so now you're insulting my masculinity? You're insulting yourself by choosing dance as a career. And you're an insult to respectful ladies. Didn't your mother and father ever teach you any manners? Before I was so pleasantly splashed with water, it has come to my attention that there is a constant conflict between a law major and a dance major. He's always always say negative things He's about dancing, partner. right? He needs nothing his, good, he needs nothing positive. It does. All and right. Therefore, I have come up with a reasonable, what I believe is a reasonable solution. Ariel, since you have little respect for dance, you will be tutored by Miles every day at four. What? Sir, that's impossible for me. And if you don't comply, then you will not have the privilege of taking the bar exam. But sir, I have a dance tournament that... That I am well aware of. However, if you don't tutor Aria, your recommendation from the university to enter the SCSD will be declined. You can't do that. Don't test me, Aria. I will assign a lecturer to check up on you too. So don't think you can miss any of the dance sessions. You'll practice for one and a half hour each day, minimum. Any questions? Great, you'll start tomorrow. Have fun. You have to do what? Yeah, so because of this predicament, we have to postpone our afternoon practice. My goodness, couldn't you just walk past and ignore like any normal person? This is going to jeopardize our chances of winning the competition. Kesia, we'll make it work. Hmm, <laughs> you better hope so. Come 
coming. You're five minutes late. So what you're going to do is throw the law book at me? What is that? A book. You know, compilation of sentences and pages that become the one. Ha, <laughs> funny. It's a dance book. It has all the rules and techniques of dance. There are no rules to dancing. Books like these only limit the novice and professional dancers a lot. Stand. Have you stretched yet? No. Next time, make sure you stretch before and after every practice. Why? You'll see. I wanna boom bang bang with your body, yo. We gonna rock it up before we take it slow. Girl, let me rock you, rock you like a rodeo. It's gonna be a bumpy ride. I wanna boom bang bang with your body, yo. We gonna rock it up before we take it slow. Girl, let me rock you, rock you like a rodeo. It's gonna be a bumpy ride. You're going too fast. You're overthinking the routine. I'm not even getting the routine. I'm sorry. I'm not used to slow learners. Let's try it again in a day, Jill. Say what? Slowly, Miss Lawful. Five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> That's it for today. Make sure you practice at home. I want you to get at least 90% of the routine. Aria, this is my dance partner, Kesia Williams. Kesia, Aria Blair. Hi. Hmm. Miles, can I talk to you privately? So much? Tomorrow, Aria. So I guess that's why I have to stretch. So why didn't he make me stretch before we started our complicated routine? He did it on purpose. <sighs> Miles again. Are you sure you're unavailable for it? Okay. Okay, thanks anyways. Monique? Bye. Hello, Debbie? Yeah, it's me. I'm okay, but listen. Did you get my message about... Oh, okay. Yeah, thanks anyways. Later. Alicia? Um, Miles. No, no, no. She's not cheating on you. At least not with me. I just wanted to... Listen. I'm not the other feller. I just want to know... Hello? Hello? something bothering you? It's a dance problem. What would you care? Listen, I know I'm biased to dance, but I'm impartial towards people, especially when they look the way that you know. And how do I look? Like the world is on your shoulders. That's one way to put it. You know my dance partner, Kesia? She bailed on me, saying she'd go and find someone who can commit to her schedule. I've tried all the other female dancers I know, but they all have other engagements. 
so that leaves me with no partner. Hence, I'll have to drop out of the tournament. You have to go to the tournament. Did I just hear the anti-dancer encourage me, a dancer, to compete in a dance competition? Whatever. There's one thing I hate more than a dancer, and it's a quitter. Unless... Unless... No, it's impossible. Impossible? You hate dancers, and everything to do with dancing. Besides, you'll never catch the routine in time. You're not an ideal partner. Let me show you something. I wanna boom bang bang with your body, oh. We're gonna rock feet up before we take it slow. Girl, let me rock you, rock you like a rodeo. It's gonna be a bumpy ride. I wanna boom bang bang with your body, oh. We're gonna rock feet up before we take it slow. Girl, let me rock you, rock you like a rodeo. It's gonna be a bumpy ride. I said dance was a waste of time. I never said that I couldn't catch on. So are you just going to stand there or are we going to dance? Okay. But the routine with Kisa is out the window. The relationship between two partners is different from all other relationships. There you go again, acting all profound. Just because there are no rules to dancing doesn't mean there's no foundation or no backstory behind the dance itself. Okay then. Mans? Yeah? I underestimated how much dedication it took to actually be a dancer. It takes a whole lot to practice everything and get the choreography right. Dancing takes as much energy as studying law. I'm sorry. But I have one question though. Why did you throw or attempt to throw water at me? You brought up my dad. Why? Is he a deadbeat father? No, he's just dead. Harry? He used to dance in theater productions. Then one day, he went ice skating in the States prior to his next gig. But after that, a horrible collision on the ice, he broke his ankle. When he finally came back home, he wasn't the same. He was broken not only physically but in spirit. He suffered a major stroke. On his deathbed, he muttered, Promise me whatever you do, you do it to the fullest. Never quit. The doctor said that the stroke had taken its toll on Dad. But I knew that Dad died before the stroke. Dad put his all into dancing, but it never rewarded him. You're not your father. Neither am I. <clears throat> the president would like to see you both. It's good to know that you two haven't had any arguments, as far as I've heard. 
Well done. I also have good news. Mr. Lashley, SCSD has approved your application and persons will be coming to interview you soon. Miss Blair, you have been approved to take the bar exam. Coincidentally, they're both taking place next Thursday. Next week, Thursday? But that's the same day as the dance tournament. Don't worry, Miles. Your interview will take place about an hour before the dance competition. But the bar is an all-day affair. It won't end until around 4.30. And the tournament ends at 3. There's no problem, is there? Well... No problem at all. Aria? I've come to appreciate dance again. But law is my number one passion. Thank you, sir. You're welcome, my dear. For your reason. Whatever happened to hating quitters and never quitting? You didn't even put up a fight for- For what? The tournament over my future as a lawyer? I would never ask you to sacrifice your interview for me. That's your future. My future is determined by next week's marriage. But Arya, I can't do this without you. You will find someone better. But without you, it means nothing. Sometimes, we meet people who change our lives and the way we think and perceive things. Sometimes, these people themselves don't realize how much they impact our lives. Aria helped me to realize that the world was not just about dance, and I had to come to appreciate her for that. As you know, here at South Carolina School of Dance, we train and produce some of the greatest professional dancers this world has ever known. I got into the South Carolina School of Dance and got a scholarship that helped me through school. Aria had done her bar exam and passed. Everything basically worked out for us, it seemed. But still, it wasn't how I wanted it to be done. You have those three things that every student needs. Dedication, energy, and self-sacrifice. Sacrifice, for many, it means giving up something valuable for something of greater value. Yes, for me, it means just the same. I would have easily given up this interview to go get Aria for us to enter the dance competition. But we don't always sacrifice for ourselves. Sometimes, we make sacrifices for those in our lives who we really care about. In this journey of life, we realize that it's not always smooth. Sometimes, we really have to be prepared for the bumpy ride.